Hey guys, Shane from Liberty Under Attack here. I wanted to do an MPLC wrap-up video. Um, for those of you who are unaware, I did go to uh, Delton, Michigan uh, to attend the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest, uh, the third one that they've had. It was definitely a great time, so I just kind of want to uh, um, lay it out for you guys, kind of what I what I experienced, what I thought was important, um, and also some of uh, um, my favorite uh, things from the event. Um, so first off, on our way there, I might as well start here. Um, yeah, there was a police encounter. Um, it, uh, still alive, obviously, which is, uh, just a blessing. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to write an article on that, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with that. And if you listen to Liberty Under Tech Radio last night, uh, live from the event, uh, you heard, uh, um, most of the stories. So I'm not going to go too much into that here. Uh, but we, uh, um, we stayed in the, uh, in a hotel, uh, in Kalamazoo, um, which is about 30 minutes away from, uh, uh from, from the event. So we got up on Saturday and uh, got to uh, um, the uh, Circle Springs, I think is what it's called, at about uh, 9 a.m. And uh, immediately we were uh, approached by uh, Shannon, um, a very kind woman um, um, that was that helped organize the event, and uh, also Lou uh, from uh, the Freedom Fiends. Um, so that was definitely cool to meet him. I, I messaged him a little, messaged him on Facebook a couple weeks before to try to figure out how I was going to live, how I was going to do a live broadcast. Uh, so I definitely appreciate his assistance. So let me kind of go into uh, some of the events that uh, took place uh, while I was there. I'm going to look at the schedule because that's probably the best way to do it. <clears throat> um, so my uh, my my favorite events um, would have to be the Bitcoin Roundtable, which was on Saturday. Um, I I learned a lot from from that uh, from that panel. Uh, I got some questions answered and uh, got an, a better understanding of Bitcoin overall. Um, and uh, two of the people on that panel were uh, uh, Ben Lopez and uh, Mark Wood, who I interviewed last night on Liberty Attack Radio. Make sure to check that out. Um, great information, great people um, with great minds. So definitely uh, go check that out. Uh, additionally, uh, the polycultural farming was uh, was really interesting. Uh, it was amazing to see what. Uh, um, what the Baconics could do with just 40 acres, um, and all of the uh, the things you can make yourself to um, to sustain life, um, to sustain food, plants, uh, all of those things. It was uh, truly fascinating. Truly fascinating. Next was probably uh, Cal Molinay's Spreading Anarchy Workshop. Um, I've interviewed Cal a couple of times, and uh, uh, it was definitely uh, definitely great interviews. Uh, but I hadn't met him before this weekend, and the entire reason I went to this uh, this event was because he said, "Hey, you know, it's, I'm going to be coming up to Michigan to go to this uh, Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. You should come up." And at first, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll try to go." And uh, then as it started to get closer, um, yeah, I definitely uh, committed, and I, I, I went, and I'm glad I went. Um, but yeah, it was definitely amazing to meet Cal. Um, definitely cool chilling with him, and uh, um, his workshop was definitely interesting. Um, he mentioned some of that history in uh, the first uh, broadcast of LUA Radio we did with him, uh, the first interview. But, uh, uh, yeah, there was some stuff I, I didn't hear about. Um, so it was definitely uh, informative for me, even. And, uh, um, yeah, lots of good information, lots of good questions. The, the uh, audience was definitely um, very involved. They had a lot of questions. Uh, so I think that was definitely a success. And uh, obviously you got to mention, mention uh, Adam Kokesh here. Um, his speech was definitely entertaining. Definitely was. He's a great speaker. Um, he's uh, definitely got a lot of good things to offer. But uh, um, I, not quite sure how I feel about him running for president. I'm not not quite sure. I, I don't like anarchist politicians, uh, but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, there were there were a ton of great events. Uh, um, polyamory is definitely an interesting subject. Um, I'm kind of neutral on it right now, as far as I go. It's a personal decision. Uh, but yeah, I am I am neutral on it. Um, and it was definitely interesting to hear people kind of discuss polyamory and why they why they are polyamorous. Um, and additionally, there was one other one that was uh, called freedom farming. And initially, I thought it was like wow, well, two farming ones in, within like two hours. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. Um, but it was planting the seed of freedom. Like, how do you plant the seed of freedom into people? Um, so it was definitely uh, uh, definitely interesting. I learned uh, a few a few interesting uh, ideas and ways that. Uh, uh, we can spread this philosophy of uh, true freedom, of uh, anarchy, of, uh, of true libertarian uh, principles. Uh, I guess uh, some, maybe one other one that was that was kind of interesting. Um, 
when uh, it was uh, open presentation time, and I think one of the uh, guys that worked there was kind of talking about how he didn't like capitalism. And uh, it was it was pretty neat to see Lou go up there, and they kind of had like a friendly debate. And uh, um, it was um, it was definitely interesting. And I, I, Lou knows his shit, so that's good. That's uh, good to know. I've seen it firsthand, and uh, um, it was definitely interesting to uh, hear those two uh, kind of go at it um, in a friendly, uh, um, nonviolent, consensual manner. Obviously, so um, yeah, there were a lot of great events, uh, lots of great discussion on philosophy. Um, on vol volunteerism, on anarchy, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's it was it was just fantastic. Um, we learn from each other. Um, that's how you learn. You learn from each other. Um, yeah, it was it was it was definitely a fantastic experience. Additionally, it was it was definitely great to uh, escape the communist state of Illinois, um, escape the statism of the communist state of Illinois. Um, constantly, I'm berated by this. This, this statist uh, propaganda and uh, um, worship of politicians and, and, and just literally the worship of uh, worship of the state. And uh, it was definitely really, really refreshing to um, get out to uh, Delton, Michigan and uh, just spend a weekend with people who I had no disagreements with. I mean, I'm sure there's some minuscule things, but they never came up. Um, it was just fantastic. I, I don't know what else to call it. It's, it was just fantastic. Um, it was great to be around people that understood like the the non-aggression principle and uh, the axiom of self-ownership. Um, it was really nice to go somewhere and not to worry about locking my car because there's all great people, great people, great minds, and they're consistent uh, in their philosophy. Um, and that's that's also another benefit. Um, everyone was very very consistent with their philosophy. There was no uh, contradictions or anything like that, um, which is very hard to come by, and which is why I'm going to try to collaborate more with uh, with those folks in Michigan. They seem to be doing a lot. Um, a lot up there. Yeah, I guess one of one of the one of the highlights for me was I've been uh, um, becoming mentally and physically free myself, um, and I'm making some very very good progress. Um, one thing I haven't been able to experience is when I'm with others um, that don't share this philosophy. I don't necessarily necessarily feel free. I like being with them, um, but I, I still I, I still don't feel free. When I was in Wisca in uh, Michigan with these folks, I, f I felt free. Like this, that is what uh, that is that is what freedom looks like. That is what the Victory Party um, would be, as as Cal would say. That is the Victory Party. It's where it's who I'd want to spend my time with. Um, that's that's where I'd want to be. That's how I would expect it to be. Yeah, I guess overall to kind of conclude this, uh, it was just great discussion all around, um, great speakers, great topics, uh, encryption, Bitcoin, um, volunteerism, um, nonviolent compassionate communication. I mean, everything was extremely interesting. Everything was extremely interesting. Um, just great minds in general, and who knew anarchy could be so peaceful? Well, I did, and, and all anarchists know that, unless you're unless you're a cynicalist. But um, yeah, it was it was just a, a fantastic experience, and I, I can't thank uh, um, the organizers at uh, the uh, the Michigan uh, Peace and uh, Liberty Coalition. I can't thank them thank them enough for uh, what they did to put that together. It's three years coming, and uh, um, I'm definitely going to be attending next year. So, um, from what uh, I heard this this uh, just yesterday, it seems like uh, that the uh, next year's will be the last week of August, um, and it should be in the same place. So if you uh, just plan ahead, if you can make it out there, make it out there. It, it definitely, uh, it definitely changed my perspective and in, in my view on things. Uh, we are not alone. Um, us anarchists, volunteerists, um, people that hold these uh, axioms, axioms in high regard, we are not alone. Um, even though I felt isolated myself, I'm not. There's a lot of us. There's certainly a lot of us, and it, get, it definitely gives me hope. Um, Got a, a great battle to face, but uh, you can definitely do it. I think it's definitely a great a great way to uh, to uh, teach people our philosophy is is through just great fun events like that. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to next year, and uh, if you can make it out, just keep a lookout. I'll make sure to promote it as much as I possibly can uh, in advance. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I guess to um, final sentence, I. I'm truly grateful that I uh, decided to go to this event. I definitely am. 
So uh, I guess I'll conclude that here about 10 minutes, perfect timing. Um, but yeah, make sure to uh, go to libertyinteractact.com. Um, here in the next couple of days, I'll have the article up, I'm going more in detail on uh, on more on what I thought of each each uh, event and things like that. Um, so yeah, check out libertyinteractact.com. And um, as always, uh, Liberty Attack Radio every Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. Make sure to tune in. We're always talking about some good things, and uh, we're definitely consistent. So have a great rest of your week, and uh, I'll see you next time.